Yeah, everyone loves to see the main character of a show kick some butt, but when we actually see his struggles and the effort he put into becoming strong, the payoff is all the more satisfying. Now, if you agree with the above statement, this video is one that you will definitely enjoy, because today I'm going to be telling you about the top 10 best anime where the main character becomes strong, not by fate, but by hard work. So before we dive into the insanity, if you haven't subscribed yet, you're missing out on the action. So hit that subscribe button and unleash your inner anime warrior. And let the countdown begin. Starting off our list, we got one of the more recent shows, Ayaka, a story of bonds. And this one is quite true to its name, with a story exploring the relationship between four young men in rather super extraordinary situations. But the main character of the show is an orphan who is swept up in a whole new direction when he meets one of his pop's disciples. From there, the dude sets on his journey to various mystical places throughout the show, defeating dragons and using the so-called magical abilities that this world has to offer. He learns to control his powers and, as usual, has to protect the peace of the world. Up next, at number 9, we've got The Hidden Dungeon Only I Can Enter. Now, even though the name suggests so, this anime is not an isekai, but rather a typical fantasy anime. But the only thing not typical is the main character of the show, because he is not your typical overpowered dude killing monsters. Our protagonist, Noir, has VIP access to the Dungeon of Dreams. But to top it all off, he stumbles upon a mysterious dude who hands out reality-controlling cheat skills like candy. Buckle up for a wild ride of skills, shenanigans, and for what comes next, watch the show to find out. But one more thing, if you haven't guessed yet, this is an ecchi anime, and coming in at the 8th spot, we've got Dragonar Academy. Now, if the previous one is an ecchi anime, then this one is the same. Maybe I should have changed the title of this video. But in any case, you may ask what the show is about exactly. And to put it simply, it's full of dragons. And almost everyone can ride them, aside from one person, that is. Yep, it's the main character. But when his dragon finally decides to make an entrance, it becomes more show-stopping than a fireworks display. Join us as we witness a tale where dragon drama meets the chaos of academia. Now at number seven, we have Orient. As fun and carefree as the previous two shows were, this one is quite dark. It is based in a world where humans are enslaved by demons or are hunters who kill demons. The main character dreams of becoming a hunter along with his friend, but they both end up as slaves to the demons and there the journey begins for them with the sole objective of becoming free and hunting those awful demons. The main character works hard as hell to accomplish his goals, but will it happen that easily? Of course not. So up next at number six, we've got campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill, the first isekai and the first anime from MAPPA on this list. Now there can't be an anime list without a MAPPA anime, but this show isn't a typical isekai anime because the main character is not the type to be overpowered and kick some butt. And that's because he cannot even fight. Soishi Makuda is accidentally summoned to the kingdom of Ar Procurea, armed with the non-combat skill online supermarket. It's not just about defeating monsters, because who needs a sword when you can order takeout in the fantasy realm? At number five, we have Bento. Yeah, we are finally back to the fun times, because this series is freaking hilarious, because where a weak main character finds himself in a supermarket brawl over discounted bento boxes. Realizing he needs to get stronger, he joins forces with a group of formidable individuals facing intense and dramatic fights. If you're into anime with main characters involved in all-out brawls, Bento is a must-watch for its entertaining and action-packed storyline. At number four, we have Tiger and Bunny. The series may seem like nothing more than a super-powered buddy show, and to a certain degree, but the plot is relatively straightforward and, to be exact, predictable. But what saves the show is the main duo in their journey to become stronger and better. It's really fun to watch because there's never been a time when viewers should feel caught off guard. So if you are interested in these types of shows, this is probably a great recommendation for you. After that, welcoming us to the top three, we have a pretty popular one, Kingdom. Now, I am pretty sure you have heard about the Kingdom manga at least once. It's famous most probably due to the number of chapters it has. And for those who still haven't heard of this show till now, the story takes place in China's Warring States period. Anyways, the show focuses on a young war orphan slave Shin who dreams to be a legendary general of the Warring States of China. But in no way will that be easy, 
and the show demonstrates his struggles, sufferings, and efforts to reach his goal. So if you're looking for a historical epic, this really is a good one to watch. And at second place, we have Dororo. Simply put, Dororo is a show of a blind dude with sword hands. Want to know more? All right. So, a scumbag samurai lord strikes a pact with demons for power, leading to his firstborn born without limbs, eyes, or skin. Saved by a medicine man, the boy, equipped with prosthetics, vows to defeat the demons to reclaim his lost self. Years later, he encounters an orphan named Dororo, and together they navigate a demon-infested world, fighting for survival and humanity. So, if by any chance you still haven't seen it, this is your chance. Just do it. But coming in at first place, we've got Solo Leveling. Yeah, the series with one of, if not the most, anticipation this year. In a world where hunters battle monsters to protect humanity, our MC transitions from an E-rank hero, which is the lowest of the low. Sun Jin Wu becomes the shadow monarch from a mysterious program, the system, and embarks on a quest to conquer dungeons like a pro. Let's talk about his abilities, shall we? Shadow Extraction, similar to Necromancers. Shadow Exchange, an ability to warp through dimensions instantly. Existential Erasure, able to completely erase one's presence from existence. A causality makes him a being that transcends time itself and true omnipotence. If you were able to make it this far, be sure to comment on which shows you have watched before or what shows you're gonna watch. And tell me if I should have added any other anime befitting the title. If there are too many, who knows, there might be a part two. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button I mean, haven't I worked hard? Come on, come on, we're on a goal of 2,000 subscribers. But in any case, I'll catch you later. See you in the next video.